Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Miriam and I talk about all kinds of quilting and sewing related things here on YouTube. Winter is coming around now and I don't know about you but I love to have a nice warm bowl of soup. What better way to have that bowl of soup than in a bowl cozy, right? We've all seen them, probably a lot of us have made them, but I found a really cool tool on the Fat Quarter Shops website. I don't know if you've seen it, but it is the Gypsy Quilting Bowl Cozy template. And this is supposed to help making bowl cozies a lot easier. The instructions include instructions on how to make these with a jelly roll, or you can also just make them with solid pieces of fabric. We are going to make one of these today. I'm super excited to show you how to do it because I love bowl cozies. I think they're really cute and they work really well. As long as you use all 100% cotton fabric, batting, and thread, you can use these in the microwave. So you can put the bowl of soup or a large cup of coffee in the cozy and then put it directly into the microwave and warm it up. However, if you use anything other than 100% cotton, do not put it in the microwave. I want to stress that at the beginning of this so you know you, can, you could heat something up and then place it into the bowl cozy and use it if you used something other than cotton. But just please be aware of that. Um, you don't want to have a fire in your home. That is, um, that's less than ideal. <laughs> Let's get over to my cutting mat and I will show you what I'll be using today. All of the products that I am using, I will link down in the description box below. Oh, I wanted to mention also, if you prefer shopping on Amazon, I did find this on Amazon as well. I will link both sites down in the description box. So no matter where you like to shop, um, you'd be able to get this. So I will say though, it is a couple of dollars cheaper on the Fat Quarter Shops website. So, and now is the time to stock up on fabrics and notions and thread and stuff because Fat Quarter Shop is doing some really good Black Friday deals, just so you know. But if it's if you're watching this in the future, still, it's a little bit cheaper on um, the Fat Quarter Shop than on Amazon. Without further ado, let's get to the cutting mat. All right, so what you need to make the bowl cozies is we are going to use uh, five jelly roll strips. I have leftovers here. The leftover pieces that I'm using are 24 inches. You're going to want to use strips that are at least, let's see, let me do quick math, 20, 21 inches long because we're going to make a outside and an inside portion of the bowl cozy. From these strips so if you have leftover strips you want them to be at least 21 inches long and of course the two and a half inch jelly roll strip width so if you're using yardage you can cut out pieces if you use full jelly roll strips so a couple of my strips are full ones you can probably get two whole bowl cozies out of those strips i hope that made sense but anyways i'm using leftovers from a different project. First of all, look how beautiful this fabric is. This is from Fancy That Design House. She's one of my favorite fabric designers. Just all of her fabric collections are so beautiful. She uses really gorgeous color combinations. I just really love her fabric. I will link the jelly roll that I used in the description box also because I just think everyone should be using her fabric. It's so beautiful. This is from her um, songbook, a new page collection. That will be linked. Then I am using just some leftover batting from a different project. Your batting, you want it to be at least 10 and a half inch square. And then I have my rotary cutter, of course, my cutting mat, and then our template. Now, if you don't want to use jelly roll strips, if you would prefer just using like a square piece of fabric, you just need a 10 and a half inch square for the outside and a 10 and a half square for the inside of the bowl cozy. That's also an option. You can definitely do that. 
you don't have strips on hand or if you have a couple of fat quarters you'd really like to use something like that this is the template of course it's clear so it's a little difficult for you to see there i'll get the light glaring on it just right but it is very um it's not i'm not going to say it's flimsy but it's very bendy so that's nice just make sure when you're storing it you're storing it flat you don't want to accidentally store it and it get bent or I don't know this might be able to crack if you bend it all the way in half so be aware of that be careful take care of your template yeah this is nice very nice so I'm going to set that aside what we first want to do is we want to get our five jelly roll strips so I've got mine here they're varying lengths but I'm going to sew all of my jelly roll strips. First, I'm going to put them in an order that I like. There, I think I like that order. <laughs> and I'm just going to take these to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew them all together. Sew them lengthwise, of course. I'm going to sew them with a quarter inch seam allowance. And then I will bring them back to the cutting mat and I'll cut them to size. Okay, I've got all my strips sewn together. I am actually going to first take these to my ironing board and we are just going to press all of the seams. You can either press them open or just press them to one side. I usually just press them all to one side. That makes it a little bit easier. So I'm gonna do that real quick and then I will meet you back at the cutting mat. Right. You can see we got our strips sewn together. And on the back, I've got all of my seams just pointing in one direction. Doesn't matter which one. You can press them open if you'd rather. It's really your preference, whatever you would like. I also forgot to mention that you will need a marking pen. So I like to use the Dritz Mark Be Gone, the blue ink. That works really well. It's water soluble. It's just, it's my favorite marking pen. So we need that also to mark where we need to cut. So we're gonna take our template and we're going to place it on our rolls here. And I am just going to mark where to cut. And you wanna place the template on the right side of the fabric. Wow, this pen is not working. I am going to use, maybe I'll try the purple side. Oh yeah, that's working better. And then I am just going to take my rotary cutter and cut along that line that I just marked. All right, that looks so cute. So far, so good, right? Okay, so you will notice also on the template, there are little triangles. These are called darts marked on all four sides of the template. We do not want to mark those on the fabric. We're going to mark those on the batting in just a minute. So I just wanted to mention that real quick here. Get this lined up. And we'll save these scraps for another day. <laughs> All right, so we have our two fabric pieces done for our bowl cozies. So I'm just going to set that aside and I'm going to pull out my batting and we are going to do the same exact thing. But with this, we have to mark those darts as well. I'm just going to lay this out, the template. Oh, good. You can see the template much better on the batting. So we are just going to place this on the batting and I am going to mark all the way around the template. My pen will work on the batting. So we're going to mark all the way around. Whoops. Try not to mark your actual template. <laughs> like that. And then we also want to mark these darts so they're wide enough for the pen to fit through. 
So I am just going to mark those as well. And we're actually going to cut those out. And that's going to give our bowl cozy that really cute bowl shape for your bowl to fit in. There's one. Let's go ahead and cut that out. I'm just going to take my rotary cutter and just follow that line. Take it nice and slow, not a race. Just like that. And then go in and cut your darts. And you need two of these as well. One for the outside and one for the inside of the cozy. Ta-da! Not bad, huh? Now let's do a second one. Now we have all the components we need for our bowl cozies. We are going to take our fabric and we're going to put it on our batting like so. And we are going to quilt. So let's see, how do I want to quilt these? I think I'll just do some really simple straight lines. So I'm just going to use my seams as a guide and I'm just going to stitch a quarter of an inch away from the seam on either side of the seam. And that's gonna look really nice and it's gonna hold my layers together very well. So let's do that real quick, shall we? See, so it's just stitched on either side of that seam. So what I'm doing is I'm just using my quarter inch foot as a guide. So I line up the edge of my foot with the seam and then I just stitch. And then I do the exact same thing on this side. Line it up with this side of the foot with that same seam and stitch. Pretty much the easiest quilting you can do and it looks really nice right looks very professional basically just looks like a top stitch make sure also while you're stitching that you're not accidentally folding up the dart or anything like that you want it to all be laying nice and flat this would also be a really great project to practice a little bit of free motion quilting. If you're wanting to dabble into that and you don't want to do a full quilt, these would be a really fun little practice free motion quilting project. So that's what it looks like on the back. You can see the quilting stitches. The darts are there. So that's what that looks like. Let's do the other one here real quick. Okay, now we have those quilted. They look so cute. I love it. Now, what we want to do, let me move the camera back a little bit farther so you can see what I'm doing. What we are going to do is we are going to take each piece and we're going to fold it in half, right sides together like that, so our darts are exposed. And what we want to do is when we fold the darts, we want to make sure that the batting, the batting dart points are lining up. So these two points of the batting are lining up. Here's our fabric. And we are going to stitch along this line. So we're going to stitch right next to the batting. And that is going to create our dart. And we're going to do that on this one and then this one. We're going to make sure that they're all lined up and then we will flip and do the other two. So let's do that here. Want those to be lined up perfectly. And then we're gonna stitch, back stitch, and stitch forward. Okay, and then back stitch. You want those stitches to be secure. 
So this is what it'll look like when you open it. See? There's a little dart created there. Pretty cool, huh? It's starting to take shape a little bit. So now let's do the other ones. Fold this in half and make sure that those points are matching and stitch right along that fabric. All right, halfway there. Now we are going to fold this the other way like that. See? And again, we want to line up our batting points right there and stitch along that edge. Okay, and then this last one, and we have created our four darts. Check that out. So that's what the bowl cozy is going to look like on the outside. How cute is that? All right, so what we can do now to kind of cut down on bulk a little bit is we can take our scissors and just cut some of this excess off. So I'm just going to cut, leaving a quarter inch seam allowance there. That's just going to cut down a little bit on the bulk. I mean, it's not going to make a huge difference, but I'd like to do it. It's cutting out those little tiny pieces. See? So there is one. Now we do the exact same thing with the other one. Now we have both of our, our inside and our outside of our bowl cozy. So now what we need to do is we need to take our two pieces and we're going to put them right sides together. So I am going to have one kind of inside out like that and one with the right side out kind of like that. See what I mean? And then we're going to put them right sides together. Just like that. And we want the darts to line up. So our darts that we made, we want them to line up. So those seams right there, we want those to line up. And I am actually going to grab my clips here. So quilting clips. And I'm going to clip all of my darts so they're lining up perfectly just like that come over here see darts line them up and clip them these two line those darts up and clip and the last one and clip all right now we are going to stitch all the way around the edge of the bowl cozy, but we need to leave an opening. I'm just going to leave a maybe two and a half, three inch opening just on one of the sides here. It, it doesn't really matter where you do it because there's no hard corners anywhere on here, but just make sure that you leave a good sized opening so you'll be able to turn it right side out, okay? So I'm just going to start it over here. We're gonna use a quarter inch seam allowance and I'm just gonna stitch all the way around. I think I'm going to stop there. So back stitch, hold those in place. All right, I've got it stitched all the way around. Now I'm just going to turn it. Here's my opening, turn it right side out. So I'm just going to reach in and I'm gonna, just gonna come to the opposite corner on the inside and pinch it with my fingers and pull it through. Okay, now we're just going to turn it and push it out. Whenever I'm turning something right side out, I kind of like to do like a little roll on the seam to really get it turned out all the way. So that's what I'm going to do here. Just come to that seam and just kind of use my fingers and roll it like that. 
Oh, this looks cute. So now we got to close this opening up. So I'm just going to kind of roll this in like that and kind of finger press it. Might take a little finagling to have it look nice, but I've got part of it. I'm just going to clip it so it holds it in place. You want those raw edges to be concealed in there. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. All right, see? So now I am just going to do a kind of like a top stitch all the way around just to hold everything in place and to close up that opening as well. So I'm going to start my top stitch just right in right before my opening and you want to take your top stitching nice and slow so it looks really good and crisp want to make sure your seams are all rolled out really good too before you top stitch Okay, let's just trim those little threads here. There's a little thread sticking out here. <laughs> All right. Look at that. It's a bowl cozy. How cute is that? I like that it's not super structured, so a pretty large bowl could actually fit in here. That is how the gypsy quilter bowl cozy works but first we got to make sure this works okay so let me go grab a bowl real quick all right i had to make sure that it that uh my bowl cozy did in fact hold a bowl so here it is are you ready it works <laughs> so that is the bowl cozy template tutorial demonstration of the uh that gypsy quilter bowl cozy template i really like this i love the the size of the cozy i like that my hands can wrap around the bowl and still not have to touch the hot bowl also i mean if you like ice cream but you hate holding that cold plant of ice cream these work these work for that i'm I may or may not be speaking from personal experience with that. <laughs> yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun to make. This looks so cute. It's beautiful. I love how it almost looks like a flower. It's like a little, a cute little flower. Bowl cozy. I love it. So I hope you enjoyed making this with me. If you're interested in getting that template, don't worry. I got those links down in the description box for you. And uh, have you tried this template? Do you know of other templates that you've tried? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. And just have a great rest of your day. Have a wonderful holiday season this year. The rest of this year is just, in my head, holiday season. It's just all kinds of fun. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Yeah, I, and I mean, could it, it could double as a uh, head covering of some kind, but uh, no, I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm.